Hi everybody, this is Daniel. So, you know, recently I reformatted my computer and I realized one thing. One thing. My Microsoft Office suite is gone. And that means that I need to, you know, uh, make a purchase or reinstall because my uh, student license is expired and I can't use it. In fact, you can't really use it after you graduate and uh, it's not, no longer available. So I'm looking for alternative and it seems to be safer and you know not sure if you really need it so i'm gonna explore into multiple alternatives and today we are looking at polaris office and uh it's free to use however that is also paid version so if in order to use it for free you need to sign up for your account so there's a few version you know saving one machine and so on so when you are actually using this kind of document we would recommend you to use alternative cloud solution like uh, Dropbox, Google Drive and all those kind of uh, solutions so in fact you need to pay on the yearly basis I think it's slightly cheaper than Microsoft Office but for this amount I mean what happens to my 5 TV or 1 TV yeah okay so let's not uh, go any further so we will actually uh, look into the a uh, few types of uh, things that we like to look into like uh, documents and presentation slides so I copied these uh, documents from Wikipedia it should be 13 pages and I noticed one thing it's that uh, when you try to use it on Google Docs you know the Microsoft Word somehow the pages will increase or decrease and I have no clue what's happening so right now we're gonna find a thing that is closest to Microsoft office okay regardless you're finding job you're reading up materials most of them will be using Microsoft Office and for us we sometimes we, we just want to you know apply for some stuff and we definitely would need this kind of solutions that is out there so let's uh, choose a simple one Polaris Office how is it like okay I would say the graphics is like a bit bad and okay it, it fit one part it has 14 pages so somehow it's not telling up to the one in uh, Google Docs, I would say. I mean the Microsoft Word. And it seems very, very uh, bad. I mean, the graphics are really bad. Yeah. Okay, so it's supposed to be 13 pages and it's giving 14 pages. Well, yeah. So on this one, I saw it on the Microsoft Office is much better. So Polaris, I think word-wise, Google Docs would <laughs> be better in that sense. How about uh, the uh, presentation slides? I'm not sure is this because of using the virtual machine. The graphics is like so-so, uh, I would say. But I would say the transition everything looks pretty similar to Microsoft. Uh, presentations yeah PowerPoint slide I would say yeah so I'm gonna pause this video and show you how the actual word document looks like on Microsoft this is how the real one looks like look at the graphics it's not pixelated as uh, bad as the Polaris office and he has 13 pages so that is uh, what we are looking for so we try to find uh, one that is closer similarity to the Microsoft Office so if you ask me if you were to ask me to pay for Polaris Office let me pause a if you were to ask me to pay for something that's displaying it this way and the word doesn't tally much I, th I think it's not good because if I will send out uh, documents like that it might affect uh, the impression of the person that I'm sending to and it might affect some kind of a uh, centralizing thing so it's not centralized all the documents here are you know added on to more so this seems to be taking up a bit more space in terms of the height itself the length I would say uh, so Polaris is the first one I hope I installed and I think it's it's worth it as a free product but if you ask me to pay for $39 or $59 per year I, I, I would say no to it because the design is not there and it's not very efficient so 
still Microsoft Office wins if you were to compare it Polaris Office versus Microsoft Office. So I would say if you just want to see your content inside, I think Polaris is okay. But if you want to do editing work, I think there's not much difference between itself and the Google Documents that it has. Okay, so I'll uh, end the video here. So if you find it useful, do share with me. And on top of that, I'm going to do a finalized, like, you know, the top few alternative that can be comparable with Microsoft Office and that's what we are looking for and what we want okay as users we we do not need necessarily need to pay for all these products when there's lots of alternative there but we also want to enjoy the same uh, experience from the Microsoft Office with no compromises so I mean for something that is paid I'm not uh, expecting something to be 14 pages and on top of that, that's a trial. You see, it's seven days trial. So Polaris, yeah, we can use it as free. But if you want to do editing work, sharing with people, it's not that good. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. And that's all. And goodbye.